little YouTubers. Well, this is a 95 Jeep YJ. And uh, I'm going to put a CB antenna mount on. So we take the back tail light off and mount it where those bolts go onto the body. So we got to take these screws out first and then have a look at the okay so before i got uh distracted by barking puppies um what we we're gonna do is take this off this light and then um those uh mounting bolts for the light should um hook up with the bolt holes on the bracket and this is a well, this is very heavy metal. It's a Terraflex uh, CB mount, antenna mount. So I'm hoping it'll work really good. So what we're going to do is uh, let's take that uh, light off. All right. Let's get this off. Okay, I'll have to get a flat screwdriver to get that out now. Okay, good. Just put that there. Okay. Now, as you can see, one, two, three bolts. And I bet you anything they're really in there good. I, I I'm gonna put LEDs in this thing. Like, oh shit, this this bulb is I tried to turn it and the bulb is the glass part's turning. Yeah, that was shot anyway, so I'm gonna have to get some LEDs. It'll look cool, I think. But uh, I'm gonna put some penetrating oil on this on those bolts and then uh, see if that helps oh boy I'm dirty okay I will be right back okay shout out WD-40 never hurt nothing I'll let that soak I really want to get this bowl ball ball. I messed up on that uh, piece of crap. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, 11, 11.57. You can tell that bulb's ready to go. It's darkening, eh? So, it's good timing that I didn't do this. Okay, it's been a while for it to soak in. So I've got a 3 8 socket set. Uh, socket. Uh, oh, okay, good. A socket on here. So that one is loosening, so that's a good thing. Okay. 
Look at all these ones. Oh, that one's loosening too. Try that top one. Good. Okay, I'll show you when they're all out. Okay, I got all three of those bolts out. And this is what it looks like. Uh, that's many years of dirt right there. So I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll, before I put that bracket on. So I'll be right back with some cleaning stuff. Okay, I got some nice warm soapy water. Back it up. Also, kind of tough with one hand, but you guys get the idea. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I put some never seize or anti seize on the threads. So if I ever want to take this bracket off, it'll be a lot easier for me to undo the bolts. So uh, that's what I do with everything that I work on. Okay, so let's uh, see what this kind of gives an idea. Oh yeah. Those holes line up pretty good and it's looking pretty darn good. So let me get this on. I'll need my other hand, and uh, I'll show you in a minute. That looks awesome. I like that. The bolt's tighten up pretty good. Oh, nice and tight. Um, I don't know. I might get longer bolts because I don't know how many th how much threads or you know if it's strong enough I know I have to put another bolt in here uh, that comes with the, the bracket and this is th these holes this is where your antenna hooks on and uh, yeah I'm gonna have to get the mounting like um, a spring that will fit this and then I'll put the antenna on but um, I'm gonna get some LEDs and uh, 1157 for that and then this should be 1156 oh because it's only got the one filament in it okay that's the backup light. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, so the next one is that, that one right there. So we'll have to drill, drill through the body. Ah, I can't. Oh, I can't help but getting the nice clean part dirty. Okay. Well, I went back, I went in to uh, get the bolt for that, that came with the bracket. And uh, I should have looked closer because it comes with longer bolts for the to replace the original. So I'm taking the old ones out, putting these new ones in, and it will be better. I should have uh, paid better attention to that so let me take these out okay I got the new bolts in and the longer ones and I'll keep 
the old bolts in the package that the new ones came in in the glove box just in case I do take this bracket off and uh, and I can put the old ones back in so let's see if I got so that looks pretty good And I will look into my little jar of LEDs and try to find the right ones. So I'll be right back. Okay, well, I only have a bulb for the reverse. So that one will go in there. And I'm going to have to get some LEDs for the 1157s. But um, I'll get them probably off of Amazon or something. And then uh, we'll put that in next just to give it more support. You know, um, the only problem is I, don't, I, I think I'm going to put a self tapping um, screw in there because uh, the other one has a, that comes with it, it has a nut. And. Uh, this is what it looks like. How am I supposed to get in there? On the other side. Oh, it goes right there. Okay, no problem. I'll be able to do that. <coughs> so let me get that drilled out. <coughs> okay, so. There's the bolt and the locking nut. I had to find some washers. Uh, I like to put washers on my stuff, my bolts. and So I'm going to drill a hole right there and then put that uh, bolt in there. Right there. Now, drill through this. All right. So, I'll just put the bolt in like that, and then. Washer and the nut on the other side, tighten it up. She'll be good to go. Okay, there it is. All done, installation. So, what we're gonna do next, well, that'll be it for this video, but I wanna find the um, proper spring mount and then install the antenna and then uh, have to tune the radio. For now, that's a very nice and solo. And that ain't gonna go anywhere. Right on. Okay, hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Happy off roading. And keep talking on the CBs. Bye now.